Hey, what's going on Guardians, TBL here with your weekly vendor reset guide for the week of June 20th, 2017. First things first, we'll be taking a trip over to the Crucible Quartermaster. He's got a couple of interesting looking guns on sale this week. First up is the Zero Day Dilemma, the High Impact Auto Rifle. It's coming with Focus Fire to increase that damage but slow down that rate of fire and give it a little bit more range, close and or personal, which gives it a 25% damage boost to your melee attacks after you land a shot with this weapon, small bore for increased range and stability at the cost of magazine size, or appended magazine to bump your magazine size up, and finally the Persistence Perk, where the longer you're firing, the more accurate the gun will become. It's kind of a weird mix and mash of perks on this gun, but between focus fire giving you that extra range and extra oomph per shot, persistence giving you extra accuracy, and then appended magazine bumping that ammo size up, it's not too bad. After that, we've got the 44 curtain call shotgun. And it's just got a pretty decent PvE roll this week. First things first, we've got the Replenish perk, which restores this gun's ammunition whenever you cast your super. It's actually a lot more helpful in PvE than I think a lot of people realize. Then we've got knee pads, rifled barrel to give it a nice boost to its range, lightweight, and then finally the full auto perk. Just a decent shotgun with some decent perks. Next up is the Each New Day Fusion Rifle. This is in the faster charge rate and it's coming with the reflex sight for bonus aim assist, knee pads, life support, braced frame, rifled barrel, and hot swap. The extra accuracy and stability is really going to be appreciated on this weapon. It's got kind of a weird recoil direction, so having that extra stability from braced frame is going to help it out. Or if you're really fine with the recoil direction, you can go for the extra range with rifled barrel. Not too bad at all. All right, after that, we've got the B-29 Party Favor Pulse Rifle. This one's coming with the reflex sign for bonus to aim assist, outlaw for that faster reload speed on precision kills, feeding frenzy for a faster reload speed after any kill. Kind of an interesting uh, mix there. Small bore for the extra range and stability while knocking your magazine size down by just a little bit. Or you could just go with the better option, in my opinion, rifle barrel to give this gun a big boost to its range while knocking down its reload speed a bit. This gun's already got great base reload speed, so you won't really miss it too much. And then finally, Head Seeker, which increases your precision damage after you've landed body shots. Overall, not a bad build for this thing. It's got some perks that work pretty well in tandem, and if you're uh, not the most accurate person, you can always pick Feeding Frenzy over Outlaw to get faster reloads after normal kills rather than just precision kills. The Dead Orbit this week has a pretty fun PvE version of the Keystone 01 Scout Rifle. This bad boy is coming with explosive rounds, lightweight, small bore, Outlaw, and then Crowd Control, just giving you a lot of different points of utility in PvE. You've got the bonus damage after you've cleared up some trash mobs with Crowd Control, Explosive Rounds is always a fun perk, and then the faster reload speed with Outlaw, just a very solid PvE scout. After that, we're taking a trip over to the Vanguard Quartermaster to look once again at the Parthian Shot, which seems to have a good roll every single week. This time around, this one's got Outlaw, Partial Refund, Braced Frame, Lightweight, and then Head Seeker. Not quite a god roll, but still pretty good. The Parthian Shot already comes out of the box with some pretty solid stats, including its stability. So with that uh, Braced Frame thrown in there, this thing is going to be laser-like. And the mixture of utility between the faster reloads of Outlaw and the bonus precision damage from Head Seeker just makes this overall a pretty solid roll for a Pulse Rifle. After that, we've got an alright version of the Wounded Scout Rifle. Certainly not a god roll, but it does have the reflex sight for aim assist, armor piercing rounds, quick draw, perfect balance, unflinching, and firefly. This setup gives you a decent amount of stability and utility in PvE, but we've definitely had better. Then, finally on our list today is the Warpath once again. This thing's coming with Linear Compensator, gives it a nice boost to its velocity, it's got Field Scout for the bonus reserve. Always nice to have that extra ammo, heavy payload for increased blast radius, battle runner for increased agility after a kill, and then cluster bombs. Of course, the big ticket items here are field scout and cluster bombs. You can really probably get away with running battle runner on this weapon because the blast radius is already fantastic. So you can have a gun with extra rockets, cluster bombs for great PvE damage, and it makes you faster after you get a kill. Just not a bad PvE roll for the warpath. Now there are of course a couple of other good weapons on sale, the Wormwood this week wasn't bad, and the Palindrome, while not great, is definitely salvageable, but those are the ones we feel were most worth your legendary marks this week. Be sure to let us know if you pick up any of the guns on sale this week down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks so much for watching. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.